All right, all right. What's going on, party people? This your man Griff. Just finished a quick buyers closing. People still buying. A lot of these deals have already been in a hopper. Um, you know, from the you know prior to what we're dealing with now, with the interest rates going up, slow down, all of that price cuts and everything. Um, Look, I just wanted to talk to Virginia notaries. Of course, every other people are going to see this, but for Virginia notaries, two things that you need to be mindful of <clears throat> when doing closings here in Virginia. And it's going to start becoming what well, it's always been, but I think it may become more of an issue because you have new signing companies coming on and they don't understand Virginia rules. And even though some of these signing company owners have been notaries for 10, 15 or more years. They don't know Virginia law. And I'll be honest with you straight up, and this is probably gonna get me in trouble with some of these signing companies and you might not wanna select me, but I don't understand how people are jumping into being a signing company owner and not take the time out to understand the laws in the other state as to whether or not certain things can be done. And case in point, there's two things that happen here in Virginia that notaries are not allowed to do. First thing is that we are not allowed in Virginia to notarize the note, okay? I've done videos on this. We are not allowed to notarize the note I've done a video on this. If you go and Google Griffin Notary, well, on YouTube, search Griffin Notary Note, N-O-T-E, I did a video about that, okay? I did a video talking about what it is and the NNA lays it all out. I did a video about whether or not we can collect closing funds. Um, I can't remember the title of that. Um, you may need to just search Griffin Notary Closing Funds. I believe that would should show it, bring it to you. But notarizing the note is something that we cannot do. We're not allowed to do that because we are not an attorney. In Virginia, you have to be an attorney to notarize it. And in notarizing it, it is about um, certifying that the deed, that the note is secured by the deed. That is not what we're doing. That verbiage on there is not notarial language. The other thing we can't do is collect closing funds unless we are a licensed title person. We don't have a title license, we cannot. So Virginia notaries, if you are doing those two things, you need to stop. You really do need to stop because what it's doing is giving the false impression to these new title companies and these new signing companies, or these, these title companies that are trying to also have a signing company, is giving them the false impression that notaries can do this, these two things in Virginia, and we cannot. As far as the promissory note or the note, you can add a, <clears throat> an all-purpose acknowledgement, acknowledging that you saw so-and-so signed the document because that's the way the lender is looking at that and I've talked to attorneys I have talked to an attorney concerning this here in Virginia about that trying to get us to notarize the note I've talked to title companies here in Virginia and this here is a lender's requirement the lender is asking for this to be done on the note in Louisiana for my understanding notaries in Louisiana can do this Virginia notaries can't so what we've been instructed to do is to add an all-purpose acknowledgement onto the note this showing that we witnessed their signature that is it because the language in there is not notarial language it has nothing to do with the fact that it says notary public aligning your commission and all of that there is no notarial language on that note statement, okay? We have notarial language that we go by according to our state. So just because it says notary signed here, it does not mean we are supposed to just go sign in the stamping. And I'm asking for you title companies and you um, signing companies 
to take time out and understand that with Virginia, okay? You really do need to understand that because there's new notaries out here that have probably gotten blacklisted because they know they're not supposed to do that and they refuse. They had probably a little bit of toot on them when they did and y'all got mad and y'all like, all I know is it should need to be done. And you're not taking time out doing due diligence to find out whether or not that's something that should be done. Because if you're in another state and you've never notarized the note, and now you're dealing with a Virginia notary who's being told to notarize the note, to me, that would send off a red flag to say, hey, wait a minute, where is this notarizing the note come from? Because I've never been told to do that. So, okay, let me let these people buy. Sorry about that, y'all. So, that's the thing that you um, need to take into account of. Same thing with collecting closing funds. In Virginia, notaries are not allowed to collect closing funds. The NNA will tell you that. The NNA will tell you about the note. Use the NNA. See, this is the thing. Everybody talks smack about the NNA. And then they don't, and, but the NNA has the information that can clarify a lot of this stuff. So if you go to the NNA as a notary in Virginia, as a signing company operating with notaries in Virginia, you will find that what I'm saying here is true. That Virginia notaries cannot notarize the note with that language that is currently on there. And we are not allowed to collect closing funds unless we are licensed. And if you, and now I just remember the video, if you look at the video called LSA versus NSA, I go over that. I cover that in that video, LSA versus NSA. It's a 40, about a 48 minute video, a little long, but I cover it in there, okay? That's what, I cover that about the, um, the collecting of funds. So, don't get angry with me. Don't sit here, and I'm just being straight up. You signing companies out there, because a lot of y'all on Instagram, y'all tracking notaries, spying on us, keeping tabs on us about what people are saying. Don't blacklist me because I'm saying what I'm saying. I'm trying to keep people out of trouble. And if you take the time out and do due diligence, you will find out that what I'm sharing with you is correct. Now, if you find out that things have changed and I'm incorrect, then I stand corrected. I have no problem with that. But at least let's do the due diligence to find out whether or not this is what is being asked to do or the note is being told to do is correct. It's just that simple. So, in conclusion, from my understanding, last I checked, last I was told, last I researched, Virginia notaries are not allowed to notarize the note. Virginia notaries, are, unless the, that notary is an attorney notary, and it says that in the alert from the NNA, and notaries are not allowed to collect closing funds unless in Virginia, in Virginia, in Virginia, unless they are a licensed title person they got a title license so if that's the case then for the note in Virginia just add an all-purpose acknowledgement for the collecting of funds you oh and the collecting of funds also is we can't handle or transport them so there's no collecting transporting handling carrying shuffling anything of any closing funds whatsoever that's the thing, okay? So somebody else dropping it in your envelope is a no-no. Somebody laying it on top in the, in the folder, that's a no-no. We are not to carry it because our e and insurance or other the supplement signing agent insurance does not cover that money being lost. That is not a notorial act. So if you don't have a license, you can't mess with the money, leave it alone. Please stop asking Virginia notaries to carry this money, to notarize the notes, all of that. All you got to do for the money is just add in another shipping label or they wire it. And the reason why they don't, some of the companies don't like wiring it, them to wire it because there's fees associated with that. And I understand. But we, I didn't make up the law. Virginia made the law. Virginia expects us. And I've even talked to the, Virginia, to the um, state settlement people, the title insurance people and the title where you get your title license from and they told me we are not collecting closing funds and the NNA talks about that now they, they share that so I don't know how much clearer I can say it y'all need to just 
do your research and find out whether I'm t talking out the side of my neck. All right, y'all have a good one. Peace.